Good win. Um, told the guys it's our last time we get to prepare 30 days for a team and, and maybe over prepare. And um, now we get into the flow of, of the season. I uh, was not particularly pleased with the, with the first half offensively. Um, just didn't get into a rhythm. Didn't think we had a lot of uh, energy and juice. Challenged the guys at halftime um, because I thought we were better than that. Um, and then we responded and played really well in the second half. Um, as I told you guys when I sat up here, whatever the first day I got hired, football is football. And I told the guys that on Monday. Um, I think Tennessee Martin has a legit defense. Um, they got about eight or nine starters that are older kids, uh, some grad kids. I know Coach pretty well. He's got a bunch of kids that came back for their sixth year. Um, they know how to win. And when you get a team that you give them a little bit of life, um, they're going to believe it. And those guys believed they had a chance, and, and they did. And so uh, we went in at halftime and, and, and uh, had to make some adjustments and had to challenge some guys. And then, sure enough, we – um, make a mistake on the opening kickoff, and, and I thought the defense did a great job of stepping up, holding them to three, and then I thought we kind of imposed our will a little bit uh, from there on and made some explosive plays. Uh, defense I thought was really good all night, gave up one play that they probably want back, but uh, um, about what I thought. You're going to make a lot of mistakes in the first game, and we've got to clean those things up because we've got to uh, put this one behind us quickly So we've got a tough road, road game next week. Um, I thought he did some really good things the second half. Um, I know he probably wanted the one back that he threw in the first half, but as we talked uh, in fall camp, um, this is his second start, and um, he, he made a mistake. And, and rather than sulk on it, worry about it, he went on to the next play. And I thought he made some big-time throws in the, in the second half. Um, and then I thought he used his legs a couple of times. That really opened some things up. Uh, and so uh, first – First real start at home, I, I know this. He, he's going to continue to improve and get better, as we will on offense. Coach, what exactly was going wrong with that offense in the first half? I just think we just didn't, weren't in sync. Um, uh, we, we had struggled with running the ball against some, some different, not different looks, but some aggressive. Those kids came off the football, and um, I, I knew they were good up front. I mean, because it was, they played Georgia and it was 17 to three at half at Georgia. This is a good football team, and um, we just we just couldn't get out of our own way a little bit. And luckily on defense, that we were we were holding our own. And then Ty Bowman makes uh, a big time play, which I expect out of Ty, and Ty expects, and and as a team we expect because Ty's one of our best special teams guys and creates a big turnover to get us up two scores. But uh, we were just struggling a little bit. I'm glad we got some things squared away, but we got some work to do. Did the punt block take some pressure off the team? Absolutely, it did. But you still, you go into half, you're saying, man, we've scored 10 points and they've scored three. We, we've got to turn some things around because we had probably good enough field position at times to do some things and we just we just didn't get it done. And, and um, give those guys credit. I thought they played really well on defense. Chris, what did you think of Dylan's first game in a K-State uniform? Yeah, I, I was excited for Dylan to get this one over with, get it behind him. I knew he was probably had some anxiety and was a little anxious about uh, coming back and playing at home. Um, we all know what kind of talent this kid has, and I was so excited to see him cut it loose. And I think getting that first touch on the first play um, and feeling, okay, this is home. I'm ready. And uh, I thought he ran extremely hard with the football um, and broke some tackles and ran through some arm tackles. He's electric, as we see. And then and then he made that. We had the Rouse made a great call on the red zone play where we got the easy touchdown pass. But I, I was excited for Dylan. And I know Dylan loved his, his opportunity and experience here. Your defense also got quite a bit of pressure on their quarterback. Was there anything that you were impressed with in that area? Brendan Mott and Toby uh, Osinsami played their tail off and got after the quarterback. And thank heavens they did because I thought they had a, a couple of really good wideouts. Num number seven I thought was a really good player. Um, four was a good player. And uh, I thought we just did a good job of, of continuing to put pressure on them. You know, they didn't run the ball very well, um, which helped us get into some third and longs, um, which we were able to get off the field. We had one um, busted coverage in, a, in the third and long that, that resulted in a, in a field goal. but. Uh, um, I was I was pleased with how we played on defense. Did you or Brian Anderson say anything to Dylan Edwards before the game, or maybe leading up to the game about the nerves or anything like that? We talked to him about a lot of different things, but nothing in particular, Scott. I, I don't know, D. Scott. It was just 
um, we, we kept encouraging him and, um, we knew we had to get him some touches and, and, uh, um, I was really glad and he probably should have made a fair catch, but I was really glad that he ran up and caught the punt and said, okay, I, I can do this. Cause we've bombed a punch, a punch to him, Sterling as well. Um, and you know, your first, first game at home and, and, you know, you, you got to make a play and, and he finally made a few plays, but, um, no, um, Dylan's going to be fine. I, I'm, I'm glad and I'm sure he's glad this first one's done. No, I guess what I meant was he had two outstanding touchdowns and really looked looked, looked good out there. It looked like he, it was good for him he to be home. He was excited. I know he was excited. He came up, gave me a big smile a couple times, and I told him I love him and, and appreciate him. And he said, Coach, thank you so much for this opportunity, man. This is what I dreamed of. It's cool stuff. I mean, this kid um, grew up with Avery and uh, – uh, grew up watching K State football, and and now he got to play at the Bill and make some big time plays. So I think it's going to continue to get better and better. Is that the the Braden Lofton you've kind of seen throughout yeah. practice? Uh, yes, and I've been telling you guys that that uh, he's continuing to get better and better, and he's gaining more confidence. And uh, uh, maybe it was an easy easy throw and catch, and it was an easy touchdown, uh, but you still have to execute. And he did some other things and caught a couple balls. And, and I'm excited because Braden gives us another element there, and he's not just a receiving tight end. He's a good point of attack tight end. So um, as he continues to get better, that's going to uh, open up some more things than when we're in that 12 personnel. Is it fair to say that Desmond Purnell is one of your best today as well? Yeah, Desmond's a stud. I mean, that, that kid, is such, he's, a, he's a great football player. Um, probably gets uh, not the recognition that uh, he deserves um, from outside, but in, inside our walls. And you guys, when you guys have seen that kid, that kid's a freaking great football player. Man, does he play hard. He plays physical. He runs through contact, doesn't miss tackles. Um, you know, um, we're, we're so excited that we have Dez and, and uh, the, way he, the way he's playing. And, and last year he was nicked up late and uh, got healthy in the offseason. And you know, he's going to have a huge season. Coach, going back to that punt block, looked like you guys had set up some returns um, throughout the game, decided to go after that one that mm -hmm. you ultimately got. Just, uh, I mean, how important was that? I know you touched on it, but how important was that play? Yeah, it was a huge play, and we had not seen them rugby um, yet. We didn't think they were going to rugby, but they had a different punter. I'm assuming that they were a little nervous about, are we going to have a, set up a big return, or are we going to come after a block? And and uh, Ty, Ty did an unbelievable job because he split uh, the garden center and then split the shield and, and – reached out. I mean, it was a big time play. And that was something that was critical for us because we were sputtering a little bit offensively. Um, and uh, I was glad we were able to get that one, get up 14. When you look throughout college football, I mean, it just seems like these games against the FCS teams for every major program, you just never know what you're going to get in these week one games. I mean, how relieved are you just to be able to walk out of week one with a win? Well, I I'm I'm happy we won. I don't know if relieves the right right word. Um, so I've been on that other side. Um, I'm happy we won, but I know we're going to learn and grow from this. And we needed a game like this. We didn't need a 65 to three game or something. We needed to be challenged, and we were challenged. And our starters went into the fourth quarter, and and it was all those things were important for us, so that we realized that we've got some work to do, and that we have not arrived or have not been been a complete football team we got a lot of stuff to get fixed and, and straighten out for his number for the number of guys that you were able to rotate in and out on the defensive side that didn't really seem to be much of a drop off at all does that just kind of exemplify the depth that yeah you guys that's were talking what we about? were hoping um and i uh, appreciate you noticing that because you know when when jack fabris came in it, it, he made some plays um we brought Kendra in for Siegel, and, and Kendra made a big-time pass breakup and made a couple of nice tackles. And um, Colby and, and VJ are interchangeable a little bit at strong safety. And Rex Van Wy came in and stepped up and made some plays. And all those defensive linemen. I mean, we had guys um, flying around at D-line and making plays. And um, you know everybody knows about Mott and stuff. But uh, to get Toby and to get Cheedy and to get Ryan Davis and, and some of those other guys, uh, some snaps was really good. It's so important to us. It's uh, really good football there. We've got some really good ties. Taylor Bratt's the best in the business at uh, recruiting his home area down there. And uh, couldn't do it without Taylor Bratt, that's for sure. How cool was it to get some carries for guys like Joe Jackson, the James White with the touchdown, yep. show off that running back depth a little bit and get those guys comfortable with game speed? 
yeah, that was something that I when when the time came and we didn't know what what kind of the rotation was. I wanted to get both quarterbacks in uh, if we could, and uh, I wanted to get Joe and La James. I think those two guys are really good running backs, and people got to see Joe Jackson with some burst and running through some people, and they got to see the quickness of La James. Uh, I was really pleased with Jacob Knuth. Uh, to come in and, and make some plays, and uh, we needed we threw some easy, easy, quick game stuff, um, and then he scrambled out one time. Um, we weren't trying to run the score up, and I talked to coach about that. We just needed to see what some of these other quarterbacks and young guys can do. So we were pleased on, on all fronts. Did you like what you saw with uh, the the additional depth of your defensive end? It felt like you didn't really miss a beat there. Yeah, it was really good. Like we said, all those guys contributed and played well. Coach, uh, the second touchdown to Dylan was with Dylan and DJ on the field, and we saw that a few times uh, today. Mm -hmm. What does that sort of add to the offense to have two guys like that who can make plays out of the backfield yeah, and you can I, play I them it, together? It gives us some versatility because both of them could flex out and be wide receivers. They both uh, can block pretty well. I thought our jet sweep game was really good, and those sometimes, sometimes those guys led through for like Jay Jack and, and Keegan and stuff. And um, you know, there, there's going to be a lot more people that are going to get their hands on the ball. Um, and that's what I'm excited about because we got a lot of really good depth at wide receiver and, as well as running back. Okay, he's going to be here on Labor Day. Fitz? Okay. Hope you're labor. Hope you're labor.